Hello, this is Veeler, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest VGA. Last time, we got the Secret Treasure, and we also got to see Leisure Suit Larry in Daventry. But alas, it won't be the first time that he's had to deal with anything in Daventry. But you notice that I am back in the front of the castle. I've decided that the first part of this episode is going to be dedicated to... Easter egg hunting. So, we are going to put on the magic ring. You place the sh and talk to a guard. You whisper something to the guard. Did you say something, Fred? What? I thought you just said something to me. Said something to you. Are you feeling okay, Frank? Oh, never mind. I was probably just hearing things. Whatever. The guards returned to silently guarding their post. That was fun. That's strange. You've had your fun. Yeah, I don't want us to do it once so conveniently. I've created save here. But apparently the responses differ based on which guard you do it to. You placed... You whisper something to the guard. What did you say, Frank? I beg your pardon? I thought I heard you say something about my sister. I didn't say a word. I didn't even know you had a sister, Fred. Whatever. Agreed. The guards returned to silently guarding their post. That was fun. Alright, so that's fun, Easter Egg. Let's take the ring off. You remove the the guards are surprised at your sudden appearance. Hmm, glad I didn't decide to run me through. Alright, where's my next Easter egg at? Wherever it is, I'll meet you there. Alright, so apparently here's number two for today. That's strange. You don't remember this rock being here in the EGA version. Uh uh. The rock is far too heavy to move. Well that wasn't much of a fancy Easter egg. Let's see what else we got. One in fifteen chance talking to yourself will get a special message. Talking to yourself. I wish I had an owl to keep me company. You really don't want to wish that, Graham. Trust me. Onwards to treasure. We need to go too. Actually, if it's on my on my path, yes, I will do it. But if it's not, I shan't. Because as much as I like to waste everyone's time, I'm not going to waste your time. going to waste your time, baby. Without warning, a Oh, we'll just leave that screen. Without warning, a Okay, fine, I won't go in your territory. Let's go to the well. Climb down the rope. Drop down. And dive. Oh, I think I should hang up my adventurous cat for the day. Does that truly wish to see for adventure? Whoops, nah, I changed my mind. Let's keep playing. Unfortunately, the walls of the you leap out of the water and yep, that I believe was the last Easter egg. That's strange. So now onward to adventure because I still haven't found exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, I think I found it. Now stand about yay here. And hope you grab onto it. And he'll only come through the screen three times. Which pretty much gives you two opportunities to catch him. 
Or, I guess you can try three. But you kind of want to click on them a bit early. I got this perfectly last night. To my astonishment. These rocks. That was way too late. And that was an excuse to cut until I get caught. With a mighty leap, you grab hold of the condor's talons. Yay! Where are you going to take me? Don't take me to anything that's going to eat me. Like... A rock. Alright, so we're now in an area that I don't recall if I actually passed on or off screen. But you can see it's lovely. Far in the distance, you can see the spires and turrets of King Edward's castle. Both of those mushroom right here. A large bulbous mushroom grows in the meadow. Let's take it. You pick the mushroom. And... Now... They can go jump in the hall. And onward to adventure! Onward to adventure! I did that last night too. <laughs> Hello. Would you like some cheese? Come a little closer. Hello there, my friend. Are you looking for anything in particular? You want to pass through my little door here, right? Well, maybe we can work something out. What's it worth to you? Worth. Bacon. I don't trust this rat. You don't want to get too close to him. Jeez, eh? Well, yeah, now that you mention it, I guess I am kind of hungry. The rat drools at the sight of the cheese and snatches it from your hand. You might want to count your fingers. <laughs> Okay, so, go in. This looks like a bad situation. Perhaps you should do something. There's two ways to do this. One, we could show them the four-leaf clover that I didn't pick up. Or... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Or we could play them the fiddle I didn't pick up either. Um. Tell you what, I'll be right back. <laughs> you pick a large four leaf clover from the patch. Here's your clover. This is apparently also a place where you can put the magic beans. Anyways, unto fiddle! And there's the fiddle, which I always forget to pick up. Anyways, I will meet you back at the Leprechaun Gods. Alright, we're back at the Leprechauns. I'm actually making a save because there are two ways to do this, and I've just realized I have never done the one way that's worth less points. We're just going to call them Lepers. Um, here, have a four-leaf clover. That didn't with a genuine four-leaf clover in your possession. The leprechauns fear and respect you. Rather than risk offending you, they decide to leave you entirely alone. Works for me.
the leprechaun, sensing the power of your four-leaf clover, begin to vanish. Man, this place is like... boring. Now, I could just grab the shield and go to the end, but the reason that that makes it, um, you won't get 100% points with that method because, well, first, let's play the fiddle. Wonderful job! Leprechauns find fiddle music irresistible. The moment they hear the music, they begin dancing a frenzied jig. That is the weirdest jig I've ever seen. Finally, swept away by the snappy music, the leprechaun guards zap right out of the room. Zippity zappity. Now, let's go this way. How will the leprechauns react now? Overhearing the fiddle music you played in the hallway, the leprechauns have begun to dance. As they do, they pop away in a fit of merrymaking. Oh, they like that, even though I'm not playing anymore. I like that one on the left. It's about to disappear. I kind of like the heart player, too. They kind of look like they'd be cute if they were, um, you know, 3D and new and maybe real. You notice know, he dropped something as he dances off. So! Please don't move the carpet. It hides the dandelion wine stains on the floor. Never got that message. Let's pick up his scepter. You take the Leprechaun King's jeweled scepter. You take the magic shield. Congratulations! Congratulations! Now, let's go this way. We can't go back up that hole. And, um... The small hole. At least the outside You are much too big to fit through that small hole. Well, you know what I think? I think we just gotta make ourselves bigger. And you know how to make yourself bigger? Careful, you do not... Eat the damn mushroom, Graham. Eat it! You eat the mushroom. Or I'll bust this cave wide open, or it's a poison mushroom. Congratulations! You now have all three of Daventry's lost treasures. Now, don't waste any time. Bring the treasure straight back to King Edward before it's too late. Before it's too late? But I didn't even know where I'm going. Oh, seriously, where am I going? Spoopy forest? Lake? Nondescriptive shit? Actually, I think it might be down and over! Uh, our first, our first point. But we make it before he dies? Probably not, but where the hell are the guards? That's odd. Why aren't the guards at their posts? The very odd. More curious still, the courtyard is deserted. This area is usually filled with the ladies and lords of the castle. This is highly unusual. You begin to feel deeply disturbed, as if all is not right within the castle. 
you can faintly hear a commotion in the king's chamber to the west. There is nothing to be done. Oh, our king's melancholy is too much for us hot to bear. If only Sir Graham had returned with the three lost treasures of Daventry. Oh, it's a Yay! He's yeah, I have. Goddamn right I did. Your Highness, I am at your service. Did... did you succeed in your quest? I did, Your Majesty. Here, as you commanded... The Magic Mirror. The Magic Shield. And the Magic Chest. And the Economy Breaker. is dead no that was past now let's celebrate long live the king I oh, trust me he lived for a while he gets grandchildren and thus ended Sir Graham's quest for the lost treasures of Daventry despite the loss of their beloved King Edward the people of Daventry grew happy and prosperous for years to come. And whenever King Graham looked into his magic mirror, he saw visions of adventures yet to come for him, for his children, and for Daventry, the land he loved so much. The end. And credits. Credits are boring. What did I miss? The fuck did I miss? To a points guide. To a points guide. Let's see. I, did I get the pebbles? I thought I did. I don't know. I missed something. But... I couldn't tell you what. So, anyways, that's that. In memory of people. Ooh, he died not too long after King's Quest came out. Anyways, that's that. So, this is been Vialer, and I will see you in King's Quest 2, Romancing the Stones. Have fun! <laughs>